So this semester, our client was Georgia Pacific. Uh, most people recognize them for their paper products. Uh, we worked with them actually on the production of their decorative wooden panel. So there's two stages to our project. There's the production side of our project, which is manufacturing these boards. And then there's the warehouse aspect, which is storing these boards, packaging them, and getting them ready to sell. So Gabby, do you want to tell about the production? So as you can imagine, there's a lot of different boards produced, and each of these boards has different properties. So think of boards as a collection of their properties. Um, so the mill it operates on a continuous press, which means there's no pauses between different items being produced, and there's no changeovers. So between producing one board and the next type of board, there are several defective sort of hybrid boards that are a mixture of the first board and the second board being produced. And these boards have to be sold for much less profit than uh, actual boards would be sold for, which is very bad, yeah. Um, so what we did was we created a algorithm which resequences the boards based on putting similarly propertied boards uh, next to each other in the production sequence. Because right now what they're doing is they're sort of pushing boards um, in a sort of wave-like pattern. Um, so that they're creating boards with maybe thickness 0.1, then 0.2, then 0.15, then 0.2 again. It's, there's no sort of rhyme or reason for how they're producing their boards or in what order. So our algorithm resequences these so that there's a minimum difference between different boards that are being produced, which maximizes the similarity between boards that are produced next to each other. So we created this tool. Um, you may be able to see it on the monitor. Um, which sort of allows the production scheduler to import weekly orders and receive the optimal SKU sequence, which they can then export to Excel. Um, and running this over six months worth of data, we arrived at a defective board production uh, re reduction in the defective boards produced by about 27%, which translated to $65,000 in savings for Georgia Pacific. Uh, now I'll turn it over to Harsh for the warehousing side, which is done in the same facility. So as Gabby mentioned, we put a lot of time and energy into reworking how they produce these boards, right? So once they make them, they have to package them and get them ready to sell. So one of the biggest issues they have with their warehouse is that with the base being so big and so deep, they have a lot of product that they end up losing within the middle of these bays. So this product that's only really meant to sit there for less than a month actually ends up getting trapped for six months to over a year. When this happens, a lot of bad things can happen to the boards. They can get warped, they can get damaged, and ultimately have to be scrapped, exactly. So when this happens, they incur a lot of costs to Georgia Pacific. So what we did was come up with a few new um, policies that would help them not only have complete transparency as to where product is and know exactly where to locate it, but actually what to do when they have smaller quantities of boards. So let's say they pick um, the majority of the pallets for a certain SKU and they only have a few boards left over. What they'll do is they'll move them to a designated area in the warehouse so they'll know exactly where they are and they don't get lost. By doing this, we can essentially shift the age of all the inventory and now have most of the inventory, as you can see here, about 75% and more, less than 30 days old, which is ideal. By doing that, we can actually bring a value of about $940,000 to Georgia Pacific. Paired with the value of Gabby's Pride, the production, we can bring just over a million dollars to the company.